Hello and welcome to the American Athletic Conference Women's Basketball Media Day. I'm Bob Picozzi, and today we are coming your way from the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut. This will be the site of the first American Athletic Conference Women's Basketball Championship, March 7th through the 10th. Today we're going to tell you all about the inaugural year of the American. We'll preview the season. We will also release the preseason conference poll, the preseason player of the year, freshman of the year, and the preseason all-conference team. And we will also chat with the coaches and players from all 10 conference members. And speaking of those 10 members, the American is comprised of five schools who played last season in the Big East. Cincinnati, Connecticut, Louisville, Rutgers, and USF, the University of South Florida. Four schools who come from Conference USA, Houston, Memphis, SMU, and UCF, that's the University of Central Florida, and one school who comes from the Atlantic 10, Temple. And looking ahead, the American will welcome three new members in the 2014-15 academic year, all three coming from Conference USA, East Carolina, Tulane, and Tulsa. Now, the American not only features UConn, the defending national champion, but also Louisville, the school which lost to UConn in the national championship game last April. USF also played in the NCAA tournament last March, and Memphis and SMU played in the WNIT. There are two coaches in the conference who are members of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, UConn's Gino Auriemma and Rutgers' C. Vivian Stringer. The Americans' preseason poll was announced today. UConn is number one, receiving nine of ten first place votes. Louisville is number two, receiving the remaining first place vote. Then USF is third, Rutgers is fourth, SMU fifth, Memphis sixth, Cincinnati seventh, UCF eighth. Preseason player of the year, Rutgers guard Tyler Scaife is the preseason freshman of the year. And the preseason all-conference team looks like this. Three players from Connecticut, Brianna Stewart, senior center Stephanie Dolson, and junior forward Kalina Mosqueda lewis Three players from Louisville, senior guards Shoni Schimmel and Antonita Slaughter, and junior forward Sarah Hammond. UCF sophomore guard Brianna Jackson, Cincinnati senior guard Daisha Hollins, SMU senior guard Kina Mays, and USF senior guard Inka Orakova. And two other players have been named preseason all-conference honorable mention. UConn senior guard Bria Hartley and Rutgers junior wing Banaja Laney. Let's take a look at each of the 10 schools in the American Athletic Conference and we will begin with the Cincinnati Bearcats. They are seventh in the preseason conference poll. They went 12 and 18 last year, four and 12 in the Big East and finished in 13th place. They lost in the first round of the Big East Championship to 12th seeded Seton Hall. The Bearcats will return senior guard Daisha Hollins. She's a preseason All-American Athletic Conference selection. And senior forward Tiffany Turner, who shot 55% from the floor last season. And Cincinnati will welcome four new players. 5'10 guard Brandy Tarver, 5'8 guard Bianca Quisenberry, 6'2 forward Marley Hill, and 6'3 forward Ashley Nickens. Jamel Elliott, who played on UConn's first national championship team in 1995, is entering her fifth year as the head coach of the Bearcats. She guided them to their first postseason tournament in six years when they went to the WNIT in 2012. We're joined by Cincinnati Bearcats head coach Jamel Elliott. Jamel, uh, you have nine returning players uh, coming back this year. What do you think the outlook for the season is? Well, we have four seniors returning. We only graduated one senior last year in Leisha Don. Um, so we're excited about our senior class, our senior leadership, our senior experience. Uh, in addition to our senior class, we have four incoming freshmen, um, two of them being Ohio State Players of the Year in their division. So um, we're excited. You know, we're just looking forward to staying healthy, continuing to get better every day in practice, and see what the season brings us. And of those returning players, of course, one of them is Daisha Hollins, who was named today to the preseason All-American Athletic Conference preseason team. Uh, talk about how her game has developed and how she's matured as a basketball player. Yeah, Days, I mean, she's a fifth year senior. Um, you know, she's coming off a, a, a slight um, knee surgery this summer, so she's not full goal yet, which is, could be a good thing. You know, the, the more rest she has, the better off she I think she'll be long term during our season. Um, but she brings that leadership on the court as far as her work ethic, um, her vocalness. Um, her ability to lead by example, and I think she sets the tone for everybody else and how hard that everybody else needs to work for us to be successful. Now, you and I have talked about this many times since, since you got the job, that you, you had a lot of work to do once you got there, and it's a process, and you just don't flip the switch, right, and it doesn't right. happen overnight. 
and uh, you, you got over the hump. You made the WNIT two seasons ago. Uh, how comfortable are you with the progress the program has made and where are you in terms of where you, you thought you might be uh, in year five? Well, the most important thing when I first took over the job is, is just main, uh, setting some foundational, you know, grounds as far as, you know, how we carry ourselves, how we act, how important it is to do well in the classroom, um, some character things that, that, that are foundation. And once we got those foundational things, I think we started to see the re results of those things. And obviously recruiting is huge. You know, we needed to get um, some, some talent in that w will allow us to compete against the teams that we play in night in and night out. And I'm starting to see the results of that, obviously, you know, the staff that I have around me. They're working extremely hard. Um, am I where I want to be at this point? Absolutely not. But I, that allows me to continue to grow and want to get better um, myself as a coach so that I can be a better coach for my players. Um, I am happy that, you know, from day one, from season one, you know, every time we stepped on the floor, I felt like my players gave me 110%. Um, and now that we have some numbers, we have 13 players on our roster this year, I think we'll continue to grow and hopefully see the results as we pl continue to play. Now, you, of course, uh, played on UConn's first national championship team, and you were an assistant coach under Gene Oriema on four national championship teams. And I know the first time you coached against UConn was, was not a pleasant yeah. experience. Yeah. I don't mean so much that you were playing a great opponent, but it was a very emotional experience. But that's old hat by now. But now you have to go through it all over again because a new team in the league is Temple, and Tanya Cardoza was an, uh, coached you as an assistant at UConn when you were a player, and she was an assistant with you, and I know you're, you're very best of friends. How difficult is it going to be for you the first time you have to coach against your good friend? Well, it's going to be hard. You know, like you mentioned, Tanya and I are best friends. You know, she's somebody that I talk to all the time. You know, we're constantly bouncing ideas off each other and how to make our programs more successful, whether it's in recruiting, whether it's X's and O's. So when it's time for us to play, I don't know how much we're going to talk the, the two or three days before that. But at the end of the day, um, we're both competitors. And when the game happens, we're going to try to do our best to coach our team the best way we can. But after the game, you know, the loser will buy dinner and we'll be we'll move on to our, our relationship so you know I'm happy to have her be a part of the league you know it's always good to have people in your circle or uh, your coaching friends to be people that you trust and you confide in and, and, and that you love and, and she is that along with coach Ariama so um, it's going to be tough but at the end of the day our competitiveness will come out and and may the best team win so on that night thanks for joining it's always good to see you thank you very much Bob. I appreciate it we're joined by Daisha Hollins, a 5'6 senior guard from Cincinnati. And Daisha, first of all, you uh, began your college career at Michigan, yes. and you decided to transfer, not only transfer, but transfer back home to uh, yes. the city of Cincinnati where you live. Uh, what went into that decision? Um, I just have to say family. Family is everything to me, and it was just a big thing. Even though it was only like three and a half hours away, it still made a difference, them um, being around me all the time. And I just think that... Um, it was better for me to come back to Big East because it was just more competitive. So I thought that's one reason why I came to UC. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, before you came to Cincinnati, they had not been very successful in the women's right. basketball program for quite a while. You got over the hump. You went to the WNIT two years ago. Uh, talk about uh, the growth of the program as mm -hmm. you see it since, since you arrived. Um, yeah. Um, when I Before I decided to come here, it was like, the, they had a losing season and I wanted to be one of those people that came in and changed that and it has been a big turnaround yeah we had we still have our up and downs but I think overall we've done a pretty good job of being better than we were from the years before and bringing in recruits that we like that. Now your, your coach Jamel Elliott as you know has a, has a great pedigree you know mm -hmm. you, you know where she played her college yes. basketball at UConn she was on their first national mm -hmm. championship team and then she won uh, uh, four championships as an assistant yeah. coach at UConn under Gene Oriama. This is her first head coaching job. She, I, I know she's she's very demanding personality. Uh, what are if you had to pick out two or three things that you've learned the most that have made you a better basketball player that you've learned from Jamel? What would they be? I would just say um, I would just say she always tells me to. Um, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> she said trim the fat. So that just means like trim those little mistakes that I make in games and be and make them and just make myself a be better player by trimming the little things to make mm -hmm. myself yeah. So I would say that and then she just teaches us a lot about not only being a better player but also just being a better person in real life. So I just take all those lessons and use those in real life situations. Okay, well, thanks so much for joining us and have a great senior year. Thank you.
We're joined by Tiffany Turner, 6'1", senior forward from the University of Cincinnati from Malton, New Jersey. Tiffany, first of all, let me ask you about your knee. I know you've had a, a chronic knee injury that has uh, handicapped you at times, has limited your uh, minutes, particularly at practice over, uh, over your career. But, uh, you know, hopefully it feels better after a summer of rest. Uh, how's your knee doing? It's doing a lot better. Um, I've been rehabbing this whole summer. And I'm doing a little bit right now, but I'm able to do a little bit of practice and like I've been doing little things like on and on, so it's, it's gotten a lot better. How difficult has it been uh, dealing with the knee injury because you're not as able to uh, participate fully in practice like all your teammates? And as you know, there's a reason why you practice. It makes you as an individual and as a team better. And uh, you've been hurt somewhat by your inability to practice all the time. How difficult has that been to deal with? I mean, it is hard, but like you can't dwell on those things. You have to like look at the good, and I feel like it's benefited the team because they can get more reps now and they can become better players. And like I know I'm sitting out, but you know I'm paying attention, and I feel like it's just going to help the team. And I mean, like we'll probably get better that way. So. Now, one of the thing your uh, your teammates depend on you is to provide rebounding and, and shot blocking, and you you have great natural shot blocking ability. How, what do you think is the key to becoming a good shot blocker? Um, I don't know, I'm just natural. <laughs> um, I think it's just like timing, uh, you know, being in the air for a while and then like swatting at it, I guess. Just but, but, but how does, how does a player become a good shot blocker without, without fouling your opponent and staying out of foul trouble? Um, just knowing the right time to do it. Um, you're not going to want to try and block everyone every time they go up for a shot because then, you know, you'll get a lot of fouls, but the more you time it out and like know the great time to do it, like you know your player that you're playing against. And one of your teammates, Daisha Hollins, is a is a preseason All American Athletic Conference selection. Uh, what is it like to play with her, and, and what does she do for the Bearcats? I love playing with her. We have really good chemistry, and we like to like go in the gym like at night and play together, so we can work more like well together. So um, she's become like a really close friend to me, and I mean it shows on the court too. Well, thanks so much for joining us, and we hope Thank you have you. a great senior year.